Hey, it's Chris Doherty. Uh, I just wrapped up a great team meeting where we were talking about our clients of different categories. But one of the areas that I think was interested in that came up as a topic of conversation that I also, looking at it from a little bit different angle, uh, thought might be useful for you. And that is, who has the money? And who's making the money in our client base? And what do they do? And um, I think in the business that I'm in, which is a real estate brokerage, where we serve literally thousands of people from all walks of life. You know, some people don't make any money at all. Some people need help getting housing. And then we have that client base that has a lot of money. And I think it's always interesting uh, to the agents that work in our office. And for me, I look at it and say, who are the people that have the money? Uh, they're certainly far few in between from the, the rest, but then how did they make their money and who are they? And so I was thinking of it from the perspective of the everyday person, right? I see this day in and day out, but for the everyday person that's trying to figure out like, hey, I wanna make money uh, or I wanna make a lot of money and what are the areas that they're seeing? Some of them are not gonna be helpful to you in your life, you won't be able to do it, but there are areas in here that, where there's possibilities. And I'm gonna go through these eight areas that I've identified. Now I wanna be clear, this isn't an exhaustive list. There might be some people out there that are making money that don't fit into this category. Comment on it, put it on there, and you know I can look at it. I basically went through my client base and our company's client base and said, hey, if I look at the people who are buying that house for a million, two, three, five, buying those really expensive properties, who are they and how did they make their money? Then this is the list, okay? And so if you're out there trying to figure out where to start your career, how do you start, this is a baseline to say, hey, there are people in these areas that are making money. If you're mid-career trying to figure out where is their money opportunity, this list should at least give you a guide, okay? So the first is not going to be helpful to any of us, and it's not as a surprise. We do have a large client base that have what we call multi-generational wealth, okay? Um, each one of us has hoped at some point that we've had an aunt or uncle or somebody that would say, hey, you know, <laughs> you didn't know about this person and they've left you millions and millions of dollars, right? Multi-generational wealth. The reality is that's not going to happen. But one class of people that we see that have the money, that are buying the big ticket items, um, are people that have inherited uh, their money. Uh, and usually it's multi-generational. Sometimes we see first generation, but often it's multi-generational. It's parents and grandparents and parents. It, there's a long line and the wealth has been generated over time and they've kept it and they've invested it, okay? Uh, the second area is we do a lot of, in, in our brokerage, a lot of like movie set relocation. And so when the movies come, we'll, we actually have an area where we'll do um, short-term temporary housing for athletes, uh, when they come to town, actors, and so naturally we have a base of people that are making a lot of money that are celebrity status, right? We've got some people doing some great stuff online um, that we've uh, housed short term in like some of our short term housing solutions. We have people that are athlete singers who have purchased homes, and so that celebrity is a second area of where we're seeing a significant amount of wealth. Uh, the third area is this is a certain type, so this isn't everybody, but there are a certain type of lawyer that we deal with that are making huge money. Now, don't get me wrong. In lawyers who are watching this, they don't all make a lot of money. A lot of lawyers are struggling, right? They have a lot of, a lot of student debt. Um, a lot of the areas of law are, are not making a significant amount of money, but there are certain types of lawyers that make a lot of money. We are seeing some of our clients that are medical malpractice attorneys, uh, with really successful firms are making a huge amount of money and they've built a significant amount of wealth. And so that's one area. Uh, we have straight class action attorneys that we deal with um, who are doing large class action lawsuits and they are making like insane money um, that would just stagger the imagination. A lot of people have different feelings about, you know, lawyers and how they make their money, but there are certain types of lawyers. Um, if you go into the practice of law, where there's a lot of money and wealth that is being generated. The same with doctors, right? Another like learned profession. Not all doctors are making a lot of money, but we're seeing certain cardiologists and specialties uh, and clients that we have are really doing like just 
phenomenal numbers in their business. Most of the, the doctors that, that we've dealt with are, you know, they're getting by, they may be with a hospital practice, but the doctors that we're seeing, that I'm talking significant wealth, uh, are real specialties that, that have become experts in, um, in very like small areas. A lot of the, you know, plastic surgeons, some of them at a high level are doing well. Cardiologists that we see are making a lot of money. Uh, things to do with uh, like the brain, uh, you know, surgery, you know, certain surgeons are making a significant amount of money. And um, so I'm seeing like if, if you're interested in money, I mean, naturally most people going into law or being doctors, the goal is really to help people or to make a difference. But if you're also looking to try to say, hey, where's the money and where are people making wealth? We're seeing in our client base, certain lawyers and certain doctors are making like huge money. And they're buying properties that are like very, very expensive. Um, the fifth area is uh, investors, right? Particularly hedge funds. So we have some clients that have started uh, investment firms, um, hedge fund businesses, and as a result of that, over time, uh, with their successful returns, the way it works is they get a percentage of the success of what they, of what of what the hedge fund makes. So if they can raise a billion, a hundred million, whatever that number is, and they successfully invest it, they, they are getting percentages of that total return. And so the, the amount of money that they can generate is huge. And so another way is if you're looking to get into an industry that makes money is investments. Wall Street, I mean, we have firms in Boston, Massachusetts, uh, Massachusetts where I'm from, um, but that's another area where to make money. Uh, the sixth area that I see all the time, because it's like my bread and butter, it's what we do, and that's real estate, uh, real estate investors. And so not all real estate investors are making money, and not everybody in real estate makes a lot of money. I mean, you'll see on television people say, flip your way to success, and, you know, um, tear it down, put it back up, whatever. There's all these shows. They make their money on selling you the videos and the tapes. But the people who are really making the money that we see are a couple of areas. We have uh, multifamily housing owners that own a large amount of units or they own commercial property and they own it for a long period of time. And so, you know, they, they maybe started out small, but over the years of their life, as they are getting you know, older and with time and they've amassed hundreds of units, and then in certain stages, these are paid off. And so just imagine if you own a thousand units and you don't have any loans on them. And so, and you're making a thousand dollars a month per unit. So we have a lot of clients who are investors that have made it through real estate investment over time. So in real estate, we are seeing uh, a lot of uh, clients that if, you, if, if people ask me like, hey, where's the money in real estate? It's definitely the long-term holder, right? They hold them through thick and thin, and you know, at some point when these, these assets get paid off, they're contributing a significant amount of revenue to the owners of that entity. We have some builders as well um, that they build, they develop, but we see that's very much a cyclical wealth cycle, and so some of the builders have been able to, over time, to overcome that through diversifying, uh, but we do have some builders, but most of the money that we see are in those long-term holders. Now, we have different levels of this, right? I'm talking like significant wealth right now. You know, I'm talking people that are making millions and millions and millions uh, in money. I'm not talking, there's, there's different levels to all of these, but I'm talking like the highest earners that I see. I mean, we have real estate investors that own 25 units, 50 units. They do extremely well, don't get me wrong. But I'm saying at the highest levels, when I'm seeing people that just have like knock you out money, real estate investors that own a lot of units and they over a long period of time, they have a lot of money. Um, another huge area that's an opportunity for you and what always surprises me is just like the small business owner who came up with a business and they run it really well. And it's usually not anything terribly fancy. So like I hear all the time, like with especially younger agents and, and younger, you know, uh, lawyers that I deal with or younger professionals, they all want the next best thing, right? What's the next big idea? Um, you know, can they get a one hit on something and, you know, make a billion dollars? Can they start the next Facebook? Can they start, 
um, you know, can, 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 they, can they come up with the next big thing to, to make a huge score? But the reality is, like, the folks that I see, it's like, yeah, there are those folks at, like, the highest levels, the Mark Zuckerbergs, but the people that I'm seeing that are making money are, like, more of your bread and butter industries, right? We have a lot of people, I mean, you name it, I mean, and they're all walks of life. There are people that are dry cleaning businesses. They run them really well. They're making tons of money. Auto repair services and auto repair shops that have run really well and are built uh, to a certain scale, we're seeing them making a lot of money. Uh, plumbers, certain plumbers, uh, electricians, people in the trades, people that are doing um, like septic removal, people that are doing junk removal. I mean, the list goes on and on. I'm always surprised, and I love these stories uh, probably the most because I'll get a client and they're they're you know they're gonna make a huge purchase. Um, and you think like, wow, what, how, how is this person paying for this? What is it? And then I see like, wow, how did you make your money? And a lot of the times the best stories and the stories that I hear the most are these people that started their own business, right? And so there's a huge failure rate. Not everybody who starts a business makes a lot of money, but what I have found that's consistent with this group, I mean, I have a person, I mean, um, a person that does auto repair, that is coming to mind, um, auto parts. Um, I mean, I could go, you know, cleaning business, a cleaning company, a landscaping company. But the one thing that they all have in common that come to mind is that it's a, it's a work ethic that is pretty exceptional. And so they run a small business, but they work in all different ages and ranges. What I find is consistent with all of them is they work. And so, um, they have a grit, they have that determination, they have that hustle, and uh, it's what we see most common, especially here where I am in Massachusetts. It's not like I'm in California where it's all movie stars. It's not like where I'm in New York City where it's all Wall Street. Most of the millionaires and the people that have made a lot of money where I am, they're small business owners and they've done very well. And the last category, uh, that eighth category, uh, is uh, we have clients that are everyday people that had regular jobs and they saved over time. Um, and they saved a lot over time. And they've invested well. And they tend to be older. These, you know, for the most part, they tend to be 60 plus in age. But through their investments and through their saving, they've made a huge amount of money. And so if you're saying, hey, how does this apply to me? You know, it's a little different. If, you're, if you do what I do, it's about, okay, who are these clients? How can we expand our base and network with them? How can we add more value to them? How can we help them? But if it's you and you're looking in and saying, hey, where is the money? How do I make money? What do I do? What do I go into? If you're starting out going to school or you wanna make a career change, I mean, the areas here, these eight areas, the ones where there's opportunity, if you're starting out, hey, be a lawyer of a certain type, be a doctor of a certain type, certain um, of these professions are certain specialties within these professions are doing well, or you try to get into uh, Wall Street or financial investing with the right firms, right? We wanna be in a place where um, the returns are, are, are big. And so try to get into like a family portfolio or learning from somebody that has started a hedge fund. Um, real estate is a huge opportunity. It still is, there's been more millionaires made in the history of this country in real estate than anything else. But the truth is, the people that make a lot of money are long-term holders of these assets. And then finally, it's like the tried and true, put your money away and um, go over time. So I don't know if this was helpful. We thought it was interesting here. So I wanted to come to you, talk to you about um, the ways to make money and what we're seeing. Hit me up if there are other ways that you're seeing that people are making money. Put it in and um, I'd love to hear from you. And uh, it's Chris Doherty signing out. Thank you.